Despite the fact that the Paleozoic era, almost all ecological niches were occupied by reptiles, other animal species actively competed with them. Therefore, even dinosaurs could have been eaten by someone else. In one of our previous issues, we already talked about animals that ate dinosaurs. Today, we will introduce you to several more predators that lived at the same time as these giant lizards and could hunt them. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, then you'll be the first to know about the appearance of new releases about the life of dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. With the help of comments and likes, you'll help promote the channel, encouraging as many viewers to get here as possible. Last time, we talked about such animals of the dinosaur age as the giant Belzebufo and the Sinea snake, the Kulazu crocodile morph, and the representative of animals, Repenemam. They all lived in different parts of the planet and ate dinosaurs of different sizes. But this is not the end of the list of the living creatures of that time that could hunt the then owners of the planet. Of course, the largest lizards that lived on land should only be wary of their closest relatives. But it is believed that the giants known to us made up about 5% of all dinosaur species that appeared on Earth during the Paleozoic era. The rest could not boast such impressive dimensions. They had to be on their guard at all time. After all, they could be eaten not only by larger relatives, but also by representatives of other orders and classes of the animal world. Quetzalcoatl This creature is the largest pterosaur known to science, a detachment of flying lizards related to dinosaurs. The first remains of this giant were discovered in 1971 in the U.S. state of Texas. At first, its wingspan was estimated between 15 and 21 meters. Later, researchers believe that it did not exceed 12 meters. The mass of the Quetzalcoatl, according to various estimates, ranged from 70 to 250 kilograms. But an experiment conducted in 1984 shows that this value was most likely closer to the lower limit. Researcher Paul McCready built a flying machine that mimics this pterosaur to test whether a creature of this size could fully fly. The device, designed for a mass of 80 kilograms, successfully took off. But some scientists suggest that the Quetzalcoatl weighed much more and was a flightless predator. There is even more controversy over the method of hunting and the diet of this monster. Some scientists say that he could prey on small land animals. Others argue that he ate fish and marine animals. Allegedly, the structure of the body of the Quetzalcoatl suggests that it collected prey in the water like a pelican. A third group of scientists consider him a scavenger. Cretoxerine In the time of the dinosaurs, giant sharks lived in the seas and oceans along with water lizards. The remains of the representatives of the Cretoxerinidae family have been found on almost all continents. These ancient sharks resembled modern white sharks and mako sharks in their structure, and these species are adapted for hunting precisely for large prey. Most likely, their main food, of course, was fish and marine animals. But scientists suggest that these predators could attack aquatic dinosaurs or attack land inhabitants who fell into the water. There's also evidence that Cretoxerans ate carcasses of dinosaurs that for some reason ended up in the water. The length of these sharks reached 6 to 7 meters. They could weigh more than 3 tons. Their mouths contained up to 80 teeth, about 5 centimeters long each. Basically, scientists just have teeth. The cartilage that makes up the shark skeleton is much worse preserved. But several almost complete skeletons of this ancient fish were found. The most complete of them was found in the United States. In the area where it was discovered in the Cretaceous period, there was a sea that scientists called Kansas. Didelphodon Although most of the mammals of the dinosaur age could not seriously compete of the then owners of the planet, some of them could be a danger to reptiles. Of course, Didelphodon, whose body length was about a meter, could only hunt small dinosaurs. 
or just hatch cubs. The scientists do not have direct evidence of such a diet of these marsupial predators that lived at the end of the Cretaceous period in the state of Montana in the USA. But reconstructions show that the force of his bite was quite large. According to this indicator, Didelphodon surpasses modern hyenas, but most scientists are inclined to believe that this animal was an omnivore and ate both animal and plant foods. Danasuchus Another representative of the superorder of crocodilomorphs, in whose diet dinosaurs were undoubtedly present, is the Dinosuchus. This relative of modern alligators lived on the territory of the North American continent in the period from 73 to 80 million years ago. Its maximum length was 10 to 12 meters, and according to various estimates, its body weight could be in the range of 2.5 to 8.5 tons. The first fossilized teeth of this monster were discovered in the middle of the 19th century, but the scientists who studied them described them as the remains of two separate previously unknown species. In 1903, several osteoderms specialized fossilized plates that are characteristic of the skin of crocodiles and some dinosaurs were found in Montana. They were discovered by paleontologists John Hatcher and Timothy Stanton. Scientists believe that these osteoderms belong to an Ankylosaurus, but further excavations of the same site led to the discovery of other fossils. In addition to a large number of osteoderms, vertebrae, ribs, and other bones fell into the hands of scientists. Realizing that they belonged to a crocodile, Hatcher stopped further research. Only six years after the discovery, Dinosuchus received its name, which means terrible crocodile. Another scientist, William Holland, described this new species. A large number of finds made throughout the 20th century have allowed scientists to better evaluate the size and structure of the Dinosuchus. By and large, it practically does not differ from most modern alligators, only significantly exceeds them in size. Interesting results were obtained by the study of the bite force of this giant. In 2002, a group of scientists compared the strength of the jaws of different species of modern crocodiles. They conducted experiments with living representatives of different species. Moreover, animals of different ages and different lengths were taken. As a result, the comb crocodile became the owner of the strongest jaws. Its bite force is estimated at 16.4 kilonewtons. At the same time, the calculated values for a Dinosuchus 11 meters long were 102.8 kilonewtons. Tapeworms and Dung Beetles In order to feed on the flesh of dinosaurs, it was not necessary to be bigger or stronger than them. Recent studies of the fossilized excrement of one of the predatory dinosaurs showed that a variety of parasites lived inside the intestines. In particular, in these coprolites, scientists found traces of huge tapeworms. According to preliminary estimates, their length was more than 30 meters. The presence of parasites in dinosaurs is not surprising. Modern birds, which are direct descendants of dinosaurs, are often also infected with various worms. True, a number of scientists suggest that these tapeworms could not parasitize in the digestive system of dinosaurs but live with them in certain symbiosis. But to find out what benefit they could bring their carriers, the researchers have not yet been able to find out. Also, in order to eat dinosaur meat, it is not necessary to eat live animals. The remains of a duck-billed dinosaur are known with traces of the activity of beetles boring bones. Apparently, these insects from the family of skin beetles stumbled upon the corpses of dinosaurs which was half submerged in loose soil or dung. The presence of a wide variety of animals that ate dinosaurs to one degree or another leads us to a very important conclusion. Creatures of all sizes, occupying a variety of ecological niches, are tightly woven into standard natural processes. The law of evolution and existence of all living things worked equally well, both in the age of the dinosaurs and in our time. And even millions of years after the disappearance of people, 
always some creature will serve as food for others. We are grateful to our viewers who watched all the episodes to the very end. To find other details of the life of dinosaurs and other extinct animals, we recommend that you familiarize yourself with other videos presented on the Dinosaur Channel.